So, just to show you guys real quick, when you get here and you actually look at these options, Reverse Hollowing allows you to turn back into a human, and you see those two numbers in the upper left hand corner which show zero, 0. Uh That is how many Hollowing points that you have, or, or abilities, or humanity points, or some crap like that. And as that increases, you uh, you don't get to go and save those when you die. So if you die, and you don't actually pick back up your little green corpse when that happens, which I'll show you later on. So you do this. Do, do, do. Kill this fucker. Die, fucker. Alright, come on, get this guy. Let's do it. Ah, No fire from above. I did not allow that. That is not fun. Come on. What's up with all the cheap shots, dude? Come on, don't, don't be that way. Come on, let's be bros. Let's be friends. Nope, there we go. And you are going over the side. Oh, there we go. Come on, assholes. <laughs> what, 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 what? There we go. Nice hit. Nice. I'm happy with that. So, if you look over here... Um, oh, screw it. There is an item over there. There's a, a ring that I want to pick on up. Not that I'm going to use it, but I just want to go and get it. So, you fall on the side... You're very carefully just kind of cruising on over here, running on the side like an ain't no thing, cruising along. Ring of Sacrifice. And based on how this section works, um, when you die in this game, you actually leave behind all the souls as well as your humanity points right along. Now what I'm going to try to do is jump across, and I don't think I'm going to be able to make it. Let's give it a shot. Nice! Alright, never mind. I don't have to die right now. I was able to, to get on over there and save my awesome well of 430 souls for a rainy day. But when you die, it leaves behind all your souls uh, and also, what is it, your your humanity points that you've kind of uh, gathered on up since your last death. And what it does is it, it about like, what, five seconds or so before you die is where it creates a little green soul mass. And if you pick it up when you uh, during your next life, then you can gather up and reclaim all your souls. And if you don't get it, then you're shit out of luck. Oh, come on. There you go. So, pretty much, if you get into a really hard section and you die, like you're in a boss fight, it's it sometimes gets really hairy because you just keep on every single time cruising on over there. Because it's not like you start out right next to the boss section. You usually have to go through a whole bunch of bullcrap. Oh, good luck. Bad stuff's coming up, apparently. Um... Oh, here we go. Let's do it. Nice. Nice, nice. Ha! Ah, oh, he's got nothing on me. I totally kicked his ass. There we go. Oh, dude, come on. You totally overextended yourself. That is, that was not, that was not smooth. Okay, so took him on out. There is a soul down here. Now, if you're wondering why I know exactly what to do, it's because I literally just played this and when I was going through doing code I had lots of audio I sounded perfect I sounded great but none of the actual music in the game was recorded at all and I'm figuring that that would probably not uh, work out very nicely so here I am again recording this exact section that I just played but whatever I was able to beat the second boss in an hour and change I think that I can do it even faster this time since I am so much more skilled so much more knowledgeable. Oh, broken straight sword. I'm not going to use that. Try range battle. Lying in ambush ahead. Oh man. None of these none of these marks aren't useful at all, man. This is I am not impressed. None of these quotes, you know. Oh my goodness. Look, dude's right here. What's up, buddy? Oh. <laughs> I was not aware that you could actually do that. So that makes uh, that's fun times. Hanging off to the side, acting like they're gonna not get my ass. It's waiting to sneak up on me. Nah, nah. They're not gonna take me like that, brah. Nah, brah. So, I went, did all these sections, just played all this crap, but, eh, this game's fun. Especially the second time, well now, third time for me right now in this section, it's it's a lot nicer. I mean, you're, you're very used to fighting all these, uh, all these enemies, because you've done it so many damn times. You're used to the, their mechanisms, their timings, and you can just kind of blow on through it. You don't have to worry about it. Whereas the first time through when you're playing stuff, you just you just die so many times. So it's it's nicer to have that little that edge. 
to make it so that the game's not to, doesn't take forever. So the other thing is based on how these uh, let's play work. There's either two ways that I can do it. I can sit here and play, and you can watch every single thing. Be wary of liar, you know, whatever. Let's do it. What's in here? Okay, nothing, no. There we go. Ooh, sweet, delicious souls. Come on, nothing in there? Nope. You can, I know, I can play through everything, and if I'm going and cruising along and attempting to, uh, to, to grind for a bit, you guys have to sit there and watch me. Oh, what's up? What's up, dude? How you doing? You get to get sit there and grind with me. Watch as I'm doing it. I'll try to come up with some amusing stories and craziness that's going on and try to keep you guys entertained with everything that I'm doing. Um, that's kind of the way that I prefer because you can't tell already. Um, for those of you that this is your first time watching any of my Let's Plays or videos or anything of that nature, I try to be to be pretty entertaining and kind of talk about my life and what's going on with it and you know the issues that I'm running into and the wonky people that I interact with on a day-to-day -day basis and what's going on with it and why I'm doing the things that I'm doing. So I feel that as long as I'm trying to be interesting and talking about wonky crazy stuff and doing a pretty decent job of commentary on what's happening in life, then uh, I feel like you guys can deal with it. <coughs> so this is the bonfire that you'll be using a shit ton in this game. I mean, this bonfire, oh man, you'll be coming back here a lot of times, especially as you're you know, getting used to how this game works and dying a ton. Yeah, man, you're going to die a lot. So this is one of the first ones that you're going to want to, once you get uh, two, a number two up in the left, upper left-hand corner, you're going to want to reverse your Halloween. Halloween, I should say. And then kindle it. Kindling it means right now, if you look at my at the bottom of the screen where it shows the Estus flask at nine. So that being nine right now, uh, the uh, the kindling allows you to go and make. I think what is it? Get it up to a total of fifteen, so you can have fifteen flasks. Now, what that means is that you can carry around more of those. You can use more of those, and every single new bonfire that you go to, you would have to do that same method, you know, every single time if you want to make it so that it gets up to a total of fifteen. Uh, maybe later on in the game you can get up to 15. I know you can get up to 10 at any time. But you just need to be able to be alive, which is reversing the howling, turning you back into a normal person, and then kindling it. So let's go over here. Um, <clears throat> I do need me some dexterity. So let's do this method right here real quick. And I'll handle that in the future. Also, uh, come on. If you didn't notice... And uh, if I didn't actually go and pick up that message yet, whenever you go to a bonfire and you sit there and you hang out with it and you, you know, recharge essentially, every time you do that, all the enemies except for leaders and bosses uh, respawn. So if you're at a tough section and you're getting your ass kicked, sometimes it's best to just go back continually on over to the bonfire and uh, you know, using that as a way to level up. Because sometimes you just run into sections where you you know you're fighting a boss, you're dying over and over and over again. Oh come on! <coughs> Sorry, I've been talking a lot. Come on, buddy. That's it. Oh my god. There we go. <sighs> and if you notice my little green bar, whenever I attack, it goes down. Come on. There we go. And so what you want to try to avoid is actually completely running on out and getting attacked because. When you uh, when you dodge, you know when I when I do this cool little move right here, it takes up the the green bar, which is your endurance, as well as blocking. Now, blocking doesn't take up endurance, but the physical act of actually blocking something. So if I just put up my shield, it doesn't take endurance. But if something hits me while my shield is up, uh, that essentially goes and transfers the damage on over to my shield. Oh, there we go. <coughs> ah, my my throat is killing me. Now let's go on over here. If you didn't know, right out here to the right of this section, there is this dude who is also known as a merchant. Well now, you seem to have your wits about you. Hmm? Then you are a welcome customer. And we are trade for souls. Everything's for sale. <laughs> All right, so talk to him. Treacherous in these parts. A horrible goat demon has moved in below. 
And up above, there's that humongous drake and a bull demon too. A bull if you stick demon. around this place, it might end up being your grave. No grave. <laughs> grave. So you need to make the mistake of not messing up. And by when I say not messing up, I mean not actually attacking that dude because he will never forgive you. Oh man, I, I'm out of. I need more souls. You know what? Screw it. Let's see this real quick. Let me uh, change my equipment. Change from this to this. And I'm going to buy everything I need to buy right now. I can use it for upgrades, but screw it. I'm going to use it right now so that way I don't have to come back over here for a while. Use this. And if you look in the lower right hand corner, it shows how much the actual uh, increment is whenever you use one of these souls. Um, as you can see, I'm getting plus 200 for every one. Most of the items I want to buy from this guy are around 1,000 to 2,000 to 3,000 for every single one. Except for the arrows, which I'm going to buy some cheap-ass arrows when I can. <clears throat> I think I'll buy a key, buy some arrows, and buy the bow. Because if you don't buy a bow from this guy, you cannot get a bow for fucking ever. <laughs> <sighs> so let's buy my residence key. I also want to get the bottomless box and the repair box later on. Um, but whatever. For right now... Screw it. Let me get uh, this bow. And get me some wooden arrows, because I don't really need very awesome things yet. <coughs> Damn. Screw it, I'm just going to go down to 100. There we go. Come on, guys. Come on. There we go. 100 arrows. Thank you kindly. Oh, thank you kindly. Thank you kindly, sir. Appreciate it. So, yeah, if you make the mistake of finding one of the non-player characters, which is a merchant, uh, they just they just attack the shit out of you. They don't never give up. They never surrender. They don't. You know, there's there's nothing I can do to make him not aggro me anymore. You're just essentially screwed. So unless you want to, you know, start over, which is generally never the option. <laughs> Not in this game. There's no time where maybe like 30 hours in, you're like, you know, maybe it's not such a bad idea. Just, just you know, start on over. It's, you know, it was a lot of fun starting from scratch. Yeah, you remember that time where I didn't have any of the good weapons and uh, everything kicked my ass really easily? Yeah, it sounds like fun. I want to do that again. No, you know, it's just, just go and explore a little bit. No big deal. Weapon ahead. Okay, so let's see. In order to get this guy, let me, let me heal up. You need to run and jump. And then cruise on through. And you are a master. And do not fall down right there or else you will have to do all that all over again. So, uh, so learn. See what I did? Yeah, do that. That's all you gotta do. Like crossbow and standard bolt. Now you could go and gather that and you could use that weapon. But once again, once you run out of your bolts, you're kind of screwed. Because there's no one else that's going to sell you bolts anytime soon. That that merchant right there, until maybe 15 hours from now, 16 hours from now, is like the only dude. And I don't know why they decide to do that. Or why they didn't allow you to bring back souls or, you know, not fight them or make them... There's like another dude you, you meet up with, and he's actually behind a, a gate. And so you... It's like... It's very, very hard to fight him, and it's very, very hard to miss him, and it's just like, Jesus, man, really? To make, you know, an error that grievous. Because, you know, shit, dude, he's undead. He looks like every other dude you come across, so... I, I don't know. I don't know what to tell you. Okay, so I got all the items that I wanted. Can I get another level up? Oh, I can! I need to get that dexterity to 15. Alright, so let's do the next section. I'll probably have to come back here to level up twice more. Probably a couple more times, too. The next boss is coming up pretty soon, and he freaking sucks. Well, I guess he's not too bad. You just have to know how to fight him. And guess what? Guess who knows how to fight him? I do. So it might not be that bad. Let's fight these dudes. Kick their asses real quick. No big deal. Let's move on in. Move on through. Gotta run through that section, or else those fires will completely obliterate you. Bye. Damn. Bam, bam, bam. Nice. Oh shit. It's 
slicing and dicing me. That's not cool. What's this guy have to say? Need hope. What? Need head. What? I I don't understand. I don't get it. I don't. It doesn't make sense to me. Get this guy. Slice the crap out of him. No, he's he's gone. Oh, look at this dude right here. Trying to act all sneaky and stuff. What's he doing over in this balcony? He's undead. He's not in, taking in the sights. That's just ludicrous. Like, who just kind of sits around, taking the sights with your sword in hand, just waiting for stuff? Hearing a dude bashing the crap out of everything around him and just like, eh, whatever. I'll wait till I see him. And then, you know, when I actually do go around the corner, he doesn't even attack me. He doesn't, he doesn't ninja the shit out of me. So I, I, he's a terrible sentry. Let's see what this has to say. Oh, be wary of enemy. Unlike the whole way this game plays, there's not like a lot of enemies all over the damn place. There we go. Oh, oh shit. This is the guy that throws that crap. So I want to, oh man. Big hits, big hits. Oh shit. Now, you notice in the upper left-hand corner, I have one. I have a single humanity point. So, right now, I could do the hollowing, but I actually need more. What is it? I, I need one more so I can actually kindle that flame. And that's when I'll be a, a happy camper. Now, when I originally played, I think the only ways you really got hollowings... Oh, shit. Or those humanity points. Oh, shit. Oh, my God. Stop throwing me. Stop making me go on fire, asshole. Oh shit. Ah. Oh. Stop it! When I originally played, I think the main way that you uh, you got those Halloween points is by, you know, beating bosses. Or at least beating super hard ass dudes. But I think they, they lessen that up a little bit, because it seems like, at least from me playing earlier, I was getting them quite a bit more often than I had in the past. So, maybe that's one of the things that they decided to make it a little bit easier in this game. Use that residence key, that 1,000 key that I just bought. So I can cruise on over here and do some awesome fun things. Anyways, yes, I was talking before about being in New York, trying to save the game, and finding out... Yeah, I mean, the day before I was about to leave, the night before, uh, had gone, set up my entire system, uh, found out that with PlayStation 3 I could back up all the content onto uh, an external USB thumb drive for the purposes of me going back home and saving it for later. And this game just simply does not transfer. Unless I was going to go and buy a PlayStation 3 hard drive, or a hard drive that allowed me to, to clone the entire contents of it onto it, I was essentially shit out of luck. So, I've recently gotten back home, and my friend is actually going to let me borrow his PlayStation 3 so I can make use of it and do some more Let's Plays. I don't know if I'm going to do... PlayStation 3 Let's Play, you know, well, I'll figure it out when I come to it, but right now, nah, I don't know. I, I get too much other crap to do, too much other crap to play. Come on, guy. There we go. Ah, uh, yeah. <laughs> That's what I'm talking about. What? That, that dude climb on down. I think that he did. He's coming for me. So what's this say? Praise the sun. So gay. So lame. Now, there's two ways you can go. You can go down here, and if you go all the way down there, there's a knight at the very end, which is way too freaking powerful for me right now, and he will just completely obliterate me, and that looks precarious. Yes, yes, run away! Run away! <laughs> what are you going to do, huh? Uh, there we go. Give me your goods. So, I am not going to go over that area, because I do not want to quickly get my ass kicked and die. Use the master key, which is uh, one of the items I got. I don't think you're actually supposed... You have to wait way longer to get here. Otherwise, you have to come here from the bottom, I believe. Um, but there is a huge, very, 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 very annoying knight to find down here. And I'm actually going to run away. Because he's going to kick my ass. He's kind of similar to the knight that I was just telling you about, where he's just way too damn powerful. And uh, I don't know. I'm thinking maybe about level 50, level 80 or so. I don't know. I'll have to figure out when I actually want to come back here and fight that guy, but he has a huge, giant stone-ass sword, and he just completely obliterates you in one hit. It's uh, it's pretty disgusting. So, also, going down there, I, I it doesn't really do very much. I think that I'm able to go and get a stone sword, but 
there's no way I'm going to be able to use it anytime soon, and I'll probably just die a ton of times waiting to use it and trying it on out, so screw it. I'm not doing it. It's not happening. So now I've kind of run into the situation that I was telling you about, where I have a lot of HP. Well, not HP. I have a lot of actual souls. I have 1646. Oh shit. I gotta get that guy. Uh, come on. These drop super ultra. Um, oh, there we go. Twinkling Titanite. Titanite chunk. Uh, those are used to upgrade your weapons. And for instance, like that, uh, that wing spear that I was telling you about. Uh, they use certain types of materials to make it so you can upgrade them. Uh, I think that they use just small little chunks to begin with. And then as you get up to higher and higher echelons of just difficulties, as well as souls that are required to upgrade it, they require more and more precious materials. And um, different smiths allow different upgrades for different types of things. So, yeah, you want to go and kill the shit out of those guys, because I think that there's only a finite amount of times that they actually show up. So if you mess up, yeah, you don't you don't get that back. I think each section where they show up, you get like a total of three chances to kill them when you see them. So if you don't actually kill them, you're just kind of kind of screwed. Oh crap! I need 847 for the next one. All right, let's be quick. I'm gonna be quick like a bunny. Come on, guys, let's do this. Ah, come on. I just need a couple souls. You will do nicely, sir. Come over here. Give it to me. Give me what I want. Nope. Nope. Alright, let's go over here. I'm gonna sit down here. Level up. Oh, what just happened? Let me go. Uh, da -da -da. Confirm reinforcement. Upgrade my shit. Now that I have a chance to use my wingspan. So yeah, this is the weapon that you want. Because you can, you can watch. Do you see that? I'm, I'm hitting him. I'm smacking the crap out of him, and I'm defending at the same time. It's great, it, and it's a powerful weapon. There's, there's nothing else that competes with it. All right, so let's go over here. Let's rock it on out. This guy. No. And that was bad. That was a. Oh, that's a precarious situation. Ah. <sighs> Oh, what a rookie mistake. I let him kill me. And he killed me because what happened? Oh, that's right. I had no endurance. Ah, oh, man, I need more endurance. That was freaking terrible. Come on. Smack, smack. Jesus. See, so just look at that. You have no endurance. Your shield just flies out away from you, and it's terrible. All right, so... Let's go back over here. So that's what it looks like when you die. And your souls are just all sitting there. So now I have one humanity again. Oh crap. There we go. Max, 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 max. Die, fucker. Much better. Two hits. And I am good to go. Nice. Now that is the execute I've been waiting for. See that, guys? That's, that's, that's just fun. Uh, can I go through here? Okay. I gotta wait till I get farther off into this area before I can do that. I can bypass those dudes in there because I don't need anything in there anymore. Let's fight these two little dudes. Nice. Black smack. Ah, shit. There we go. So, as I was saying before about the whole way that I'm thinking about doing this podcast, I think that I'm pretty decent at this game now, and so I don't think it's going to be too terribly boring to watch. Um, even if I have to grind a little bit, I, I think that as long as I'm being entertaining and uh, coming up with fun content... Oh, I thought that dude was trying to attack me. Uh, what's up, buddy? And also notice I have two souls up there now, so I can, when I go back to that area, I can kindle it, and I will be good to go. I will always have... What the hell? There we go. Always be able to get ten flasks at that one. Now you don't want to do that at every single uh, Kindle, just because there's some um, uh, there's some bonfires that you go to and you just really never ever go back to it again, unless you just kind of cruise it on through. Titanite shards, those are the ones that you use for upgrades, so those are always good to collect. Come on, guy. Come on, buddy. Ah, oh, there we go. Smack him right in the face. Two. Big hit. Ah. Oh. 
Dude, no, don't, don't do it, don't do it. Ah, fuck. I can't believe you made me do it. What's going on? One. Take it. Ah, come on, just come up here. Come on, buddy. Let's make it interesting. I'm just dancing. It's gotta be boring for you. Come on, let's do it. Nice. Smack, smack. Nice, there we go. <sighs> Heal up a little bit. So that spear is has got nothing on this 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 thing I got right now. This wing spear is a shit. Smack, smack, smack. Come on. And he is down. So I have enough for another level, so I'm gonna cruise on back, get me some endurance. Otherwise, it's gonna be tough. That boss, that boss is a pain in the ass. As well as I also want to use up my uh, my humanity points, if you will. So, yeah. But um, I'm planning on trying to play through this game as quickly as possible. I still have maybe about another two or three hours of Dark Siders 2 to play. But all right. Now this is a process. Reverse Halloween turns me into human, and my humanity is now restored. Now we kindle this baby, and my Estus flasks are now ten. Awesome. Now when I was playing this earlier, and I'd kindled this, ah, that goddamn someone someone invaded my world. And took my humanity. I was I was quite perturbed. I was not happy about that. But whatever. I guess that's what happens in this game. At least on the PlayStation 3 version, you're allowed to to play the game in offline mode. If you try to do that in this game, you just won't let you save, which is kind of dumb. Oh, come on, guys. Just just let me through. And I made the mistake of not actually. All right. Well, looks like I'm going to be going back. I. I didn't actually level up. I'm a, I'm a genius. Freaking genius. Oh well, whatever. I'll get be able to get two levels and then I can go fight the boss. How's that sound, guys? Does that sound like fun? Just blow on through this entire section. There we go. Big hits. Whenever I have ten Estus, I can handle it. There we go. Nice, nice, nice. So, planning to play this through as quickly as possible. Um, I don't know, the more feedback I get from you guys, the more interest that you show. The more you're like, oh, dude, just come on, I want to see the next part, I want to see what happens next. The more I'll be inclined to finish it up. But I do have uh, day job responsibilities and businesses that I work on and code that I write. So, try to do it. Try to make it as interesting as possible. Sorry, I'm not able to release all the episodes at once, but I did just pick up this game and I picked it right up. Starting to play it so I can upload some content so you guys can see it, get excited, and uh, want to see more. Come on. There we go. Very nice. Uh, there we go. Come on. Let's do it. Ah, oh, well. Whatever. Big, big hit. Nice. Nice. And, yeah. I'll just do this one real quick. Smack. <laughs> no 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 Oh Nice. See they have the same problem that I do when I go and I drink a potion, which is when you drink from the flask, you are vulnerable as shit and uh the bosses are just gonna go and use their huge giant uh, asshole motherfucking kick your ass attacks to make it you know, you a very sad boy. The other question I have for you guys What the hell? What? what is this? Um, is that because I'm in combat? What? What? What is this? I don't get what's going on here. Um, is that a bug? I, that's not supposed to be like that. Oh, I think that my world has been invaded, possibly? Why am I summoning this dude? 
Why? I okay. <laughs> I'm not exactly sure what's going on with that. Uh... Stop saying that. I must be. Uh... Dude, I have no freaking clue. It must just be wanting me to get my world invaded, or someone's trying to invade my world, or something like that. I have no idea why that's doing that right there. It's just keeping me inside of the section. Oh well. You know what? I beat the leader before. I'll beat him again. I have more health than I know what to do with right now. So, so screw it. Let's let's uh let's move on. That's fine. I don't really care about a summoning. I don't need help with the boss. I'm good to go. Let's cruise on up here. And there's nothing up here. Alright, so let's heal. And let's uh, wish the best for me. So you always want to go straight on over to the right, climb this ladder, and take out the assholes that are up here with their freaking bows. That. Kill, kill. Ah, oh, shit. Come on. No! Big hit, big hit. Big hit, big hit, big hit. And last big hit. <sighs> oh, isn't that precious looking? Alright, so how this boss works, which kind of blows, is I have to go to the other, like the second half, the, you know, third of the way. Uh, I should say more like two-thirds of the way on over. He's going to jump on down, and he's going to come right for me. And I need to run my ass off back. So let's make it so that I have full ability to run. And I saw him drop on down. Let's, uh, let's get over here. Come on, come on, come on. So you climb up here. He's going to come rampaging on through and attack the tower. Oh, that's not good. So you cruise on over here. You jump on down, you smack him in the head. There we go. It does about a fourth of the damage of his entire health meter. Run on over to the other side. And get ready for him to run after you. So he's going to run after. He's going to swipe on down. And when he does that, you run past him. Actually, I fucked that up. Oh, God. Come on, come on, come on, come on. Run, run, run. Run, run! Oh, come on! Run, run, run! Run, run, run! Run, run, run! Run, run, run! Oh shit! No! Run, run, run! Run, run, run! Climb, climb, climb! Okay, so what you don't want to do is fuck up the way that I did. Oh shit! Oh, it's so close. All right, come on, come on, come on! Let's go over here. Do this and heal on up, and let's cruise on down. He's about to jump up. No, nope, come on! Ah, oh, fuck! Uh, shit. Ah! No! Oh, ho, ho. No! 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 Okay, so I have another chance. Let's do this. Run! Run! Okay. Come on, run. So that's why having no endurance sucks. Is he gonna get me? Is he gonna get me? Ah, oh, just made it. Okay, so I can heal two more SS Flax. Alright, let's do one more. Okay, let's cruise on down here. Smack in the face. There we go. Oh, Jesus. Now, let's try this again. Now, hopefully I can show you guys at least one decent way of not getting my ass kicked. Okay, so he's going to come over here. Run, run, run. Okay, cruise on over. Ah, oh, come on, no endurance. Holy shit. Okay. I'll be able to get up this time. Climb, climb, climb. Don't do it, don't do it, don't do it. Oh. Oh, you barely missed. I know you wanted it so bad, too. Alright. In the face. Nice. And so as you're falling on down, just do your attack method. You know, maybe about a second after you've fallen. And that way it'll do the attack them in the face method. Because if you miss, you're essentially, you're going to die. Oh, shit. 
Okay. And as soon as he does that motion, of where he's uh, going straight on for you, then that is when you need to go and start running on back, where you just need to barely miss it. Climb, climb, climb. No, it's so close. Oh, it hit me. But I'm still on the ladder. I'm still good. So one more flask. And if you carry up, um, carry a long time up here, then he's going to jump up. And he is now dead. Awesome. One good... <laughs> Just in case. There we go. Humanity, Homeward Bone, and a ton, a ton of experience. So, I don't exactly remember what's on the other side over there, but I do know that going back and saving, as well as uh, spending my experience, is probably a good idea. So let's go ahead and do that. Also, um, when you're human, when you actually have your humanity restored and uh, you're part of the living, one of the things you can do is when you're getting to a boss battle is you can actually have help. You can summon someone to assist you during boss battles. And uh, later on in the game, you use that a ton. That's super hardcore, ridiculously, awesomely necessary because those, those bottles, ah, those enemies are just so freaking hard. Those bosses are just so lame and annoying. So, let's see. I need me some vitality, and I need as much endurance as I can take. Uh, so, I am way far behind when it comes to levels, but let's see what I can do with... What is it? Change equipment? Can I... Have any souls? I have souls of lost and dead. <laughs> I got nothing great right now. But, I went and beat the, the first boss and the second boss in one sitting, so I'm pretty happy about that. Uh, now I'm going to check the actual videos to see whether or not everything recorded the way that I liked and upload them. So next time we'll uh, do a little bit more level grinding and hopefully show you another boss on how to kill him and how to kick his ass. So thank you so much, and I'll uh, play with you guys next time. Later.